Football is a game of inches. Every single play, every single yard, can make the difference between victory and defeat. The tension builds with each snap of the ball, and the stakes are incredibly high. Every yard earned is a battle. The offensive line pushes forward, the running back fights for every inch, and the defense resists with all their might. It's a constant struggle, a war of attrition where every inch counts. But you know what? Defense wins championships. It's the unsung hero of the game, often overshadowed by flashy offensive plays. Yet, it's the defense that can make or break a team's success. A solid defense can stop even the most potent offenses in their tracks. It's not always about scoring the most points. Sometimes it's about keeping the other team from scoring at all. A low-scoring game can be just as thrilling, with every defensive stand adding to the drama. It's about preventing the other team from scoring at all. A great defense can shut down the opposition, making it nearly impossible for them to gain any ground. They can intercept passes, stop runs, and force turnovers. A strong defense can change the entire game. One big play, one crucial stop, can shift the momentum and energize the entire team. It's a game changer, turning the tide in favor of the defense. They can force turnovers, sack the quarterback, and give their team amazing field position. Defense is exciting. It's not just about stopping the other team. It's about creating opportunities for your own team to score. Big hits, interceptions, and goal line stands get the crowd roaring. The energy in the stadium is electric, with fans on the edge of their seats, cheering for every defensive play. It's a spectacle that brings everyone together. And let me tell you, last Friday night, the Weyburn Comprehensive School Eagles defense put on a show. They were relentless, stopping the Yorkton Raiders at every turn. The crowd was on their feet, witnessing a defensive masterclass that will be remembered for years to come. The Eagles' defense truly embodied the spirit of the game, proving that sometimes the best offense is a great defense. It was a beautiful night for football in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. The air was crisp, the sky was clear, and the stadium lights cast a magical glow over the field. The atmosphere was perfect for a thrilling game of high school football. The stands were packed with excited fans, their cheers echoing through the night. The Eagles were hosting the Yorkton Regional School Raiders, and the energy was electric. The anticipation was palpable as both teams took to the field, ready to give it their all. Both teams were pumped and ready to battle it out under the Friday night lights. The players huddled together, strategizing and motivating each other, their faces set with determination. The coaches paced the sidelines, shouting last-minute instructions and encouragement. The Raiders started strong and put the first points on the board. Their offense was relentless, driving down the field with precision and power. The crowd erupted in cheers as they scored a touchdown, celebrating their early lead. They kicked a field goal, taking an early 3-0 lead. The kicker's form was perfect, and the ball sailed through the uprights with ease. The Raiders' fans roared with approval, confident in their team's ability to maintain the lead. You could feel the pressure on the Eagles. How would they respond? The players on the sidelines looked intense, their eyes fixed on the field. The coach gathered his team, speaking to them with urgency and passion, reminding them of their training and their potential. But the Eagles didn't panic. They knew they had the skills and the heart to turn the game around. The team huddled together, their determination unwavering. They discussed their strategy, each player focused on their role and ready to execute the plan. They had a secret weapon, their defense. The Eagles' defense was known for its strength and resilience. They lined up, ready to stop the Raiders' offense in its tracks. The players moved with precision, their tackles fierce and their coverage tight, and they were just getting warmed up. The Eagles' defense began to dominate, forcing turnovers and shutting down the Raiders' advances. The momentum started to shift and the crowd could feel it. The energy in the stadium grew even more intense as the Eagles fought back with everything they had. The Eagles' defense quickly figured out the Raiders' game plan. 
They started putting pressure on the quarterback, and then it happened. Hayden Bueller, the Eagles' star defensive back, read the quarterback's eyes like a book. He jumped the route, intercepted the pass, and took it all the way for a touchdown. The crowd went wild. Bueller's pick six not only tied the game, but also shifted the momentum in the Eagles' favor. That play was a game changer. It showed everyone that the Eagles' defense was here to play. The Eagles, now fired up, continued to dominate on defense. They were relentless, forcing the Raiders into making mistakes. The Raiders' offense just couldn't get anything going against this incredible Eagles' defense. Then, the Eagles' defense struck again. They tackled the Raiders running back in the end zone for a safety. Two more points added to their score. The Eagles were now leading 9-3. The momentum was all with the Eagles now. The defense was playing lights out, and the offense was ready to capitalize. Section 5. Venard's Interception Magic The Eagles' defense was unstoppable. This time, it was Max Venard's turn to shine. Venard, another talented defensive back for the Eagles, made an incredible interception, giving the ball back to his offense. The crowd erupted. They were witnessing defensive dominance like never before. Venard's interception was a thing of beauty. He timed his jump perfectly and snatched the ball out of the air. The Eagles' offense took over, ready to turn this turnover into points. Section 6. Touchdown Eagles. With the ball back in their possession, the Eagles' offense went to work. Quarterback. Ryder Kuhn threw a perfect pass to wide receiver Nolan Uren in the end zone for another Eagles touchdown. The Eagles were on fire. Their defense was creating opportunities, and their offense was making the most of them. The score was now 16-3 in favor of the Eagles. The Raiders were reeling. They couldn't find an answer for the Eagles' suffocating defense. Section 7 Fourth Quarter Dominance the fourth quarter started, and the Eagles' defense wasn't done yet. They forced another turnover, this time a fumble, giving the ball back to their offense. The Eagles' offense capitalized on the turnover, scoring yet another touchdown. The score was now a commanding 24-3. The Raiders were deflated. The Eagles' defense had completely shut them down. It was clear that the Eagles were on their way to a dominant victory. Section 8. Defense Wins Championships The final whistle blew, and the Weyburn Eagles had won their season opener in spectacular fashion. The final score of 24-3 was a testament to the power of their defense. They had created turnovers, scored points, and completely shut down the Raiders' offense. This game was a masterclass in defensive football. The Eagles proved that defense truly does win championships. Their ability to read plays, tackle aggressively, and force turnovers was the key to their success. Section 9. Looking Ahead As the season progresses, the Eagles are gearing up for some of their most challenging matchups yet. The team has been working tirelessly in practice, focusing on both their offensive and defensive strategies to ensure they are prepared for what lies ahead. The Eagles' next challenge will be against the Balgany Greenall Griffins, a team known for their strong running game. The Griffins have a reputation for their powerful and relentless ground attack, which has overwhelmed many opponents this season. The Eagles' coaching staff has been analyzing game footage, identifying key players, and developing a game plan to counteract the Griffins' strengths. If the Eagles' defense can contain the Griffins' rushing attack, they'll be in a great position to win. The defensive line will need to be aggressive, maintaining their gaps and tackling with precision. Linebackers will play a crucial role in reading the plays and reacting quickly to stop any advances. The secondary must be vigilant, ready to support the run defense while also being prepared for any surprise passing plays. After the Griffins, they'll face the Peacock Tornadoes. This game will present a different set of challenges, as the Tornadoes are known for their high-powered passing offense. The Eagles' secondary will need to be at their best, covering receivers tightly and anticipating the quarterback's moves. 
The Tornadoes have a high-powered passing offense, so the Eagles' secondary will need to be at their best. Cornerbacks and safeties will need to communicate effectively, ensuring there are no blown coverages. The defensive line must also put pressure on the quarterback, disrupting his rhythm and forcing him into making mistakes. These games will be tough, but the Eagles are up for the challenge. The team has shown resilience and determination throughout the season, and they are ready to prove themselves against these formidable opponents. The coaching staff has instilled a sense of confidence and belief in the players, emphasizing the importance of teamwork and execution. They're ready to show everyone what their defense is made of. With the support of their fans and the hard work they've put in, the Eagles are poised to make a statement in these upcoming games.